Hey and welcome, I'm Hammy and big changes are coming to Overwatch Competitive in the developer update released just not long ago. Jeff Kaplan went through a bunch of changes coming to the game including an experimental card allowing people on console as well as live players to test not on the PTR. Changes to the balance philosophy of the team and the big one, hero pools are coming to season 21 of Overwatch. In this video I will quickly summarise the news, explain roughly what I feel I think it means and some opinions. Time codes in the description if you want to skip. So firstly a brief summary of those three things happening. Well Jeff opened the dev update talking about balance philosophy and some common statements and feedback that team feel they get. Criticised or criticism for being slow on balance and that they have heard that the community would like to see more frequent changes, different things being tried, maybe a bit more aggressive, and the feeling of the meta as it was. So the team are looking at three fairly major things to try and help with all of this. The first is the experimental card. Now this will be coming soon TM. Uh, it will be a card you will see in your Overwatch actual game. Here the dev team will share different kind of changes that maybe aren't quite ready to be put live, things that they want to test. It will be there, it's in game so you can get rewards, you don't have to go on a PTR. Uh, it's a place where you can play different game modes, maybe with different hero balances, all kinds of stuff and give feedback. And it will include console and everyone playing on console as well. A long request of people playing on console is that they've been able to get involved in testing without having to go on a PC. So there you go. It may, Jeff said, include stuff that never makes it into the live game. So this experimental card will be a way effectively of bringing experiments of tweaks and changes the dev team want to make to Overwatch to the game itself without you having to do anything else. So I can quickly cover that one. My verdict on that, excellent news. Something that's been asked for for a while. It will help people feel more involved in testing and the shaping of Overwatch. One criticism of the PTR on PC, the public test realm, was that stuff that went there was very seldom changed before it hit live. It was generally just testing for stability and things. Point number two, balance philosophy. So the Overwatch dev team are going to try and balance more frequently and more aggressively, uh, and they will be less worried uh, with the idea of trying some things out and then reverting them. They don't mind trying something and then seeing if it works great, if it doesn't. It's the kind of fail fast philosophy. Try something, if it doesn't work, then learn from it and move on. So that will be interesting to see how it actually pans out in Overwatch along with this experiment card. Now, interesting that they want to try and deliberately target the meta. Now, previously, Jeff said the team tried to balance or tried to balance for the stability of the entire game. Now they are going with a philosophy of looking at the meta and moving the meta, the sort of group of heroes, the play style that people are playing along as frequently as possible. So for some people who thought the GOATS, Brigitte, three tanks, three supports, uh, the GOATS meta lasted for, for way too long, both in the Overwatch League and in the actual game. Indeed, in my own experience, playing anything from Gold 3 to Diamond, I very rarely saw GOATS, even though people uh, said that GOATS was a thing for the best part of a year. So there you go, worth bearing in mind with this. Now, Jeff also mentioned these are all based on what we're hearing from you. So the Overwatch team see this as a community-centric update based on feedback and some philosophies based on feedback. Yeah, I think this is worth doing. I think that at points uh, people have not liked certain heroes, whether they have known or been at a, a game level or the, the level at which they play, teams can come together to deal with them or not. Sometimes heroes are just flat out broken. Uh, sometimes heroes require getting used to playing against. Uh, either way, the Overwatch team reacted more quickly. It will be interesting to see both how we feel as players and as a community about it uh, and how the Overwatch team decide to tweak things to keep things fresh and also to respond to feedback and what they perceive as things that might be good for the game. Now, here's the big one. Hero pools are being introduced to Overwatch. In season 21, which starts in March, so there's plenty of time to get used to this idea. And we're actually gonna see this in the Overwatch League before we start more on that later. There are gonna be hero pools. The idea, move players off the meta, prevent players stagnating on any one meta too long, Jeff's words. This is going to mean competitive only. We did not get huge amounts of details in the update about what it's actually going to look like in practicality, although we have seen some things on an Overwatch League blog post that give an idea as to maybe what it could look like. But that professional Overwatch League style might not come into our weekly Overwatch. The goal is to keep the meta fluid and to encourage some hero diversity. Uh, a pool of heroes every week. They will pick a few heroes that will not be playable that week, and then week to week those heroes will change. So. Jeff said that they'd be willing to change this if it doesn't work or if feedback goes otherwise. Uh, there are different ways they can change it. They could have hero pools last longer. 
Uh, they could have hero pools uh, moving faster even if necessary. They could even make it change every match if they wanted to, but the frequency that heroes were locked in for is something that they could look at. However, this does mean that certain weeks you will not be able to play certain heroes in Overwatch the way that they presented this right now. What do you think of that? Do you let me know in the comments below. I'll come back to my feelings on that at the end. There's a little bit more to go through. So we don't know what it's going to look like in Overwatch come March, but there is quite a long time till March yet. Now the Overwatch League have actually put a blog live just now saying that March the 7th, they're going to make one tank, one support and two damage heroes unavailable for selection during matches every weekend. The heroes will be randomly selected for the Overwatch League from a pool of eligible heroes based on play rate data from the previous two weeks of Overwatch League matches. Only heroes that are being played regularly can be pulled from the next hero pool. So if nobody is playing Torbjorn or Symmetra, then those heroes uh, in the previous two weeks, then those heroes are not going to be eligible for bans. No hero will be unavailable two weeks in a row. Well, that's interesting. I have a feeling that that will be the case. Something like that will be the case for uh, in-game in Overwatch as well. Hero pools will be not used for mid-season tournaments, the play-in tournament, playoffs or grand finals. All heroes will be available for those matches. That introduces stability for the time when more is on the line. Finally, teams will be informed of each week's hero pool approximately one week in advance of matches. There is an idea here that they are introducing more variety to the way in which Overwatch League is going to be played on a week-to-week -week basis as well. I think that's going to be interesting to see how teams try and prepare for that because uh, remember this year, of course, with the homestand events, people are flying all over the world and playing all over the world at homestand events in different countries. They're also going to have to do some more preparation <laughs> for, for, for each week. Uh, that's my main point about Overwatch League. How are pro teams going to feel about this? I think it's best that I cover that now. Finding a week in advance, what you're going to have to prepare, doesn't give you loads of time to prepare. It's going to certainly make matches maybe more open. So last but by no means least, hero pools and Overwatch. This is a very big change. Now, to be clear, Jeff have said that they are willing to tweak this and willing to see how it goes, but it's happening and it's going to be coming. It's just a question of what form it takes and how long each hero pool lasts, for example. With the Overwatch League example, which I shared and went into detail with, we've seen a way as to how it could work. Two DPS, one tank, one support not being available each week. Now, Overwatch balance in past videos I've described as being like a spider web with weights hung on all of the different intersections or random intersections of where the threads cross over. My first concern about this is already the team have said that they're going to be more open and quick with their balance philosophy. So if they're changing, if they're pulling on all of these different weights under the spider web, then hero pulls is like the spider walking onto the web and then running around on top of the web while these weights are being pulled underneath it. The web is going to be, the, the, the competitive environment of Overwatch is going to be bouncing up and down in so many different areas. And this is our competitive that we play on the ladder every week. Uh, how will the team know what feels good and what feels bad? How will we know what feels good and what feels bad? It's almost like we have no time at all to see how things are changing before the next week has come along. Now, I like the idea behind hero pools. I know some people will see it as being a, a lukewarm or a developer-controlled version of hero bans instead. I completely appreciate the intention, the design of saying, right, we want to freshen things up more quickly. If you guys have said, and if the developers feel that there's been more feedback saying things have got stale, things have got slow, we want to see more change, then this is the polar opposite of that. This is going and saying, right, well, if you think things are too stale for too long or too semi for too long, uh, we're just gonna throw a big rock in the pool and see what splashes up around the sides. Uh, this feels like a very big fundamental change to me and indeed it's been explained as such. So like the idea, like the intention, uh, a week is a very fast time. That's kind of my second thought or concern. Uh, and let's say that I can't play Mercy this week um, and I play a lot of Mercy. Uh, myself, I used to, in, at one point, play a lot of D.Va, and D.Va's not available this week. And I'm trying to learn Ball, but Ball is uh, <laughs> hilarious. I get him wrong very often. Am I going to just not play tanks for that week if I play a lot of one or two heroes and my heroes aren't available? Uh, or am I just not going to play Overwatch for a week? And then do I come back and play Overwatch afterwards? Uh, that's a concern I have for this. Now, Jeff's forum post said that hero diversity and things are great, and I always sit in that camp. Uh, Equally, on the other side of things, there are people who get most joy from the game from playing one or two heroes and mastering them. And in the past, that's been the way, both in personal ways and also in fundamental uh, technical ways. When Mercy's SR game was a bit broken in the past, when Sombra, I believe, SR game was also broken in the past. There have been literal times in Overwatch where playing and one-tricking a hero would cause you to gain SR. 
more quickly if you played them in the right way. So we find ourselves in a position here where people are almost, let's be honest, being forced to expand their hero pools and to try different solutions or just not play the game during that week. It'll be very interesting to see what you guys think. Do let us know in the comments below about this. Uh, would it encourage you to play more different heroes? Uh, most people, I would imagine, play one or two heroes. They maybe play one role. One or two heroes maybe pretty well within a particular role. How do you think this will make Overwatch feel for you uh, if there are heroes that aren't available on a weekly basis? Do let me know in the comments. Really love to hear your thoughts. So what will these hero pools look like? Is a week too short a time? Is it too long a time? I do get a feeling to round up that Blizzard have seen the feedback, have seen people saying the meta is too slow, we're concerned about balance updates, and they have now thrown the kitchen sink at this. I think we may have gone from what people perceived um, and of course perceptions here are, are personal like you know goats brigitte was around that meta was around in overwatch league for a long time of course we, we're going from one extreme that people may see to another and this is the very very rapid iteration very very rapid change in the game uh, is it so rapid that we can't get used to it or keep up with it is that a good thing or not is it part of a desire to try and push uh, to encourage the player base to try out different heroes, different things to expand their horizons, you know, to get out of their comfort zones as well. I think that might be part of it too. So big, big changes are a brewing. The times they are a changing. What do you think of all this? Do let me know in the comments below. And as a closing thought, remember when Overwatch, when it launched, didn't have a competitive mode? Remember when the devs said they never wanted to restrict hero selection and we could have two Winstons, two Lucios and two Genjis as a team? Over the last nearly four years of Overwatch now, there have been several big changes to the game and this feels like one of those potentially big changes coming as well. Now the world hasn't burnt down, the sky has not fallen on our heads, so however this shakes out I'm sure that Overwatch will keep kicking on in a good way and who knows this could be the shot in the arm that some people think the game needs and some people might like to come back to Overwatch with so that would be a good thing for everyone but I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you like this video throw a like, subscribe and for more Overwatch lore, interactions, voice lines, bits and bobs to do with Overwatch and more, please do have a look at my playlist here for all of my content from the past nearly four years of Overwatch and beyond. Uh, I'm going to be trying some new and different video games, lore and other kinds of lore and story videos uh, next week. The beginning of February is now going to be the pilot week for my channel so do keep an eye out for new stuff then and do let me know whether you think it's good, bad, you're indifferent, anything you think about it I'd love to hear from you. Lots of exciting things and a Nintendo Switch giveaway to come soon as well. Cheers for tuning in, I've been Hammy, take it easy.